Hey everyone, uh, this is Alex USA Days, and I've been asked, is it a good uh, job to be a QA engineer in the gaming industry? Uh, and I think in general, yes, uh, but it depends. Uh, there are variations, we're going to talk about them a little bit. Uh, and another question related to that, is it true if you work as a QA engineer, you play the games all the time? Uh, so essentially, if you work as a QA engineer in gaming, yes, you will have uh, some free time to play the game that you're building and to kind of do exploratory tests and just enjoy the game. If you find issues, you'll open them up. Uh, I open. I had some experience working in gaming, not in AAA, uh, but as a QA engineer in a startup, web-based. Uh, it was a web-based game. Um, but I also have people that work in different aspects of gaming industry, AAA titles and more like a kind of a, like a sweatshop titles. Um, so yes, you will have time to play, but a lot of it's still going to be just regular QA job where, where you will have to do repetitive tasks, keep track uh, of the logs, uh, take logs, open, open tickets. Uh, maybe there will be some additional QA work that is related to like payment processes, uh, or working with different types of hardware. So it's not all, all going to be just playing the game for the sake of having fun. A lot of it, a lot of it will be repetitive work, right? Uh, so it's still going to be a job and it actually can get tiring and can wear you off. And at some point, if you do it a lot, you might even stop uh, enjoying playing games outside of your work. So, you know, you have to be aware of that. Now, in terms of having it as a job overall, I think it's a good start. It uh, doesn't matter where as a QA engineer to get into the industry or overall to get in the QA, right, in the field. Now, if you want to grow, I would rather get out of uh, test testing in gaming into any other type of uh, QA, any other industry mix of hardware, software, uh, maybe some apps, uh, whatever that might be, right, some payment systems, finances, banking, real estate, whatever that might be, but out of uh, out of gaming. Or if you're staying in gaming, go with AAA titles where you're not going to be a contractor, but you're going to be a full-time uh, QA engineer where you can actually grow and if the product is going to stay in the market for, for a long time. So think in terms of uh, QA engineer for League of Legends. You will be making around 80 uh, to 100K as a full-time QA engineer. Uh, mid-level, uh, probably with some stock options. So almost like any regular other IT job. Uh, the only thing is with the QA engineers in gaming, it is still paying a little bit less than other industries, uh, even AAA titles. So it's probably going to be 10% less or so uh, if you work as a QA engineer in AAA game versus if you would work as a QA engineer in some, I don't know, uh, Google likes company that doing some other things, whatever they are, uh, or Apple or whatever, Facebook. So salary is going to be a little bit less uh, in AAA gaming, a full-time QA engineer, than just a QA engineer in other big uh, company. Uh, but the other part of it, uh, if you start as a QA engineer and they have those positions, you'll see them a lot. Uh, you'll see them on DICE, you'll see the ads that they hiring they, and they changing it when you become a contractor as a QA engineer in gaming. And uh, those are essentially expendables. They're, they'll pay them very little, maybe $15 an hour, 17 maybe even less, closer to the minimum wage. Um, you will you will still play a lot. You'll still do kind of almost the same QA activities uh, as a full-time QA engineer. Um, but you will make your money when you will be closer to the release of the game. So months, two months, three months before the release, uh, you will probably test a lot, maybe five, six hours a day, 10 hour, t five, six hours, uh, five, six days a week, uh, 10, 12 hours a day. Right. And then you'll make hours over time. Uh, that will, you know, you'll make more money, but once the project is released, um, you're going to be let go. It's, it's quite often that, People get fired because those positions are expendable. They're not considered, I don't know, they're not considered, if you're not a full-time, they just get rid of you. Uh, titles out, they will have a skeleton crew uh, that will be running this project. No more testing needed or only limited testing. Um, and then in that way, there's like really no respect for this position. It's, it's just really expendable that it is what it is. 
Uh, and it's hard to move from that to a permanent position. Permanent. So if you're getting, if you're looking for a QA position as a, in gaming industry, I would from the start, from the get go, not go into a contractor position that, you know, pays very little money. Uh, but they just kind of post it as, okay, you're going to still play games. And, you know, if you're out of college, it's going to be like your first job, stuff like that. I wouldn't go that route. I would just go directly for the uh, company that would prefer to hire full-time and prefer to give you industry uh, level salaries as other QA positions make. Otherwise, you might get stuck in that uh, kind of loop from contractor to contractor with a lot less money in gaming that uh, Q engineer should make if they're working full time. Now, also, I, I don't think that's a good trend um, to do that because I play a lot of games myself, and I see titles uh, failing really bad because they try to crunch uh, testing in the last couple of months. Then the game gets out and it's still full of bugs because they never invested in proper QA and taking care of the employees, making them part of the project, and planning loan. Uh, after the game release to keep them, um, they get a bad product out. And there are multiple examples where titles are failing when uh, Fallout 76 came out full of bugs and some of them are still not fixed and the project is kind of in, in very strange state. Maybe it, it seems like it's getting abandoned, abandoned overall. Uh, they're trying to keep it alive with microtransactions and cosmetics, uh, but really the game itself is... There's not a, not not a lot of activity, and whatever there is, it's not bringing back the the revenue and the players, right? Um, when the Overwatch 2 launched, still there were a lot a lot of issues on connecting, even after the demo testing, uh, a lot of bugs that they banned some characters out. So I know because I went and read what they have on LinkedIn, and they congratulations how. The game release was, uh, and you know, they kind of live in that bubble that, okay, we make some money, we made a successful release, but then you start going into uh, Reddit forums and reading the real responses from people, how the game is laggy, how it's impossible to connect to a server. You try playing yourself and you see uh, the experience, gaming experience shoppy. It's not, it's not, it's not a successful release and end up, uh, ends up also making a lot less money than it could. So essentially, I think overall the culture of, uh, you know, let's hire some contractors to test. We're going to pay them very little and then maybe give them a lot of overtime close to release and then let them go once the product is out uh, is a very bad approach in general because it does affect uh, the quality of the games in the long run. And um, a lot of the game companies that do that just end up losing money. So if you would think about going and joining a gaming uh, company to become a queue engineer think about going full-time working there for you know for a good amount of time a couple of years and where you're not only going to use your skills in playing but maybe you're going to learn some systems around it so <clears throat> deployments you're going to learn uh payment process and testing that maybe how the game interacts with different systems so you're going to learn some maybe networking as well, pick up some database, a lot of stuff along the way that can be transferred uh, to other fields where the QA engineers are needed. So if you decide to move at some point, uh, you will have a full skill knowledge of a QA engineer and, and not like, you know, you were just doing kind of a gaming test and trying to break the game and play in the game that all you did as a contractor, for example. So if you think about uh, titles that pay well or i mean relatively well compared to other gaming uh companies think about league of legends uh, so you can get a full-time position in there uh you can get around 80 to 100k as a mid-level queue engineer uh, there you will be playing league of legends you will be testing you will be uh there, there will be playtime allocated right but also you will be actually testing and learning other things around uh, the game and payment processing and, and all other things that is not just just plain. Um, and if you want to stay in the gaming industry for a while, sure, you can do that. But again, make sure that this is the QA position that where you can actually grow, become a team lead, become a manager, whatever, release manager. So, and that, it, you know, it is providing uh, part of the shares, the options. Uh, there's 401k, medical insurance, and all of that stuff. It's not a sweatshop that's uh, going to pay you $15 an hour 
then give you three months of overtime and then just gonna fire you once their title is released. Um, yeah, and also if you think about gaming, also uh, you can look at other gaming, well, not directly gaming, but close to gaming industries like gambling, so casinos or online uh, uh, games and stuff like that. They normally also have a full-time positions and that you will be working with uh, different systems, not just gaming, uh, game itself, um, databases and learning other skills that are useful for Q engineer. If you go in some other uh, fields, right? In other industries. So, um, yeah. So I think it's a good start uh, and definitely a uh, great opportunity to explore, but also you have to be careful how you're going to proceed from that position. Okay. So hopefully this is helpful. So Alex, you say days. Thanks for watching it.